podcast and this is to do with the opposition unity after members of the opposition parties have now decided to hold a unity meet on june 23rd in bihar and patna bjp has gone all guns blazing and slammed the opposition let's first listen into the reactions coming in then we'll speak further on this story 23 tarikh ki date ek baar fir se aa gayi hai opposition ki meeting ki bihar mein kya chunauti dekhte hain is dekho ek baar batae कि परिवार कहता है मोदी हटाएंगे पब्लिक कहती है मोदी लाएंगे अब परिवार की सियासत और पब्लिक का संकल्प दो चीज सामने है पता लग जाएगा आपको 2024 में लेकिन उससे भी इम्पोर्टेंट है कि अगर कुछ आज पूरे के पूरे इस घटनाक्रम में देखें तो इसमें मुंगेरी अनेक और सपने एक इसे कहते हैं ना एक अनार सौ बीमार अब इनको लगता है कि फैमिली फोटो फ्रेम में फिक्स होकर के फोटो करके और कोई फ्रंट बन जाएगा तो फैमिली फोटो फ्रेम में फिक्स होकर के फ्रंट नहीं बनता बल्कि फ्रस्ट्रेशन दिखाई पड़ता है और ये कोई पहली बार तो है नहीं इससे पहले भी आप देखिए हाथ उठा उठा करके कहते थे आवाज दो हम एक है और चुनाव के बाद क्या होता था उनके दिल के टुकड़े हुए हजार कोई इधर गिरा कोई उधर गिरा हमने कहा ना फैमिली फोटो फ्रेम में फिक्स होगी तो इसमें आप नाइन्टी नाइन ऐसे लोग होंगे जो फैमिली फोटो फ्रेम वाले लोग होंगे अब ये फैमिली फोटो फ्रेम में फिक्स होकर के एक फ्रंट बना रहे हैं तो फ्रंट तो कम दिखेगा फ्रस्ट्रेशन ज्यादा दिखेगा क्या लगता है इनकी मंशा जो है एक ऑपोजिशन यूनिटी की ये कामयाब रहेगी देखिए कोई पहली बार थोड़ी हो रहा है जब जब चुनाव के समय आते हैं तब तक विरोधी पार्टियों की एकजुटता की बात चलती है कुछ नहीं कर पाता है क्योंकि उनके अपने इंटरेस्ट क्लैश करते हैं तो आप विचार करिए ना क्या हुआ बंगाल में कांग्रेस का एक एम था और ममता दीदी को कोई कमी बहुमत की नहीं थी लेकिन उसको ज्वाइन कर लिया कांग्रेस वाले को क्षेत्रीय पार्टियां जो परिवार की पार्टी है व्यक्ति की पार्टी है अगर वो सीटें उनकी कम होगी कमजोर हो जाएंगी तो कौन उनको पूछने वाला है वो अपने अस्तित्व को क्यों समाप्त करेंगे कांग्रेस के उत्थान के लिए मुझे नहीं लगता है और देखिए इससे बड़ी बात मैं कहता हूँ सबसे बड़ी बात नेताओं की मर्जी से सत्ता का परिवर्तन नहीं होता है नेताओं के गठजोड़ से भी सत्ता का परिवर्तन नहीं होता है मतदान कौन करेगा पब्लिक जनता जनता किसके साथ ये महत्व का विषय है और आज की तिथि में आप देखेंगे चाहे जितना भी लोग गठबंधन की कोशिश कर लें या गठबंधन कर भी लें देश के अंदर प्रधानमंत्री के रूप में नरेंद्र भाई मोदी के अलावा किसी को स्वीकार करने की जनता तैयार नहीं है सर ट्वेंटी थर्ड इज द डे दैट हैज बिन डिसाइडेड फॉर दोजिशन पार्टी मीटिंग With what agenda is the Congress going to be part of this meeting? Because Malikarjun Kharge and Rahul Gandhi both are going to be present in this meeting. See, as you know that uh, uh, we have been fighting in the Parliament on different issues. There have been uh, uh, coordination between different political parties, largely those political parties who have been opposing the policies and programs of this government. So uh, we had a meeting, Mr. Malikarjun Kharge, Mr. Sidhams, and after that it was. decided that we'll reach out to other political parties obviously all upa partners are together uh, beyond upa there are political parties which are uh, fighting bjp or which are standing against BJP, bjp's ideology mm-hmm. so we have tried to reach out to, to them which we have done on 23rd all of these parties will be attending the meeting there we will decide to what will be our uh, agenda what will be our issues uh those issues which we fought in the parliament and there are some political parties which are not the part of upa and part of india but some of them are anti bjp they stand against bjp they fight against bjp they oppose the policies and programs of bjp we are already seeing a divided opposition party because kcr uh, said he will not be part of it tdp also said they will not be part of it in fact tdp is in talks with bjp for the alliance tdp was not uh, in the beginning hmm. from the beginning he has close relation with uh, bjp he was hmm. partner of bjp in hmm. parliament and outside so um, other thing but kcr well, they have said but you know i told you that day hmm. it is too immature to talk of left uh, opposition in it today hmm. it is a process hmm. it will take some time in earlier days never left opposition unity has never hmm. thrice opposition government right for hmm. but only after election after election the parties after election result they come together and form government hmm. so this time i do not know that before the election there will be perfect uh, front hmm. uh, that is not our experience hmm. so i and we are not afraid of that we have nothing to worry about 
बट यूनिटी डेफिनेटली विल प्ले इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन कमिंग इलेक्शन बिकॉज एवरीबडी इज सफरिंग अंडर देंड्स ऑफ द फैसिस्ट पटना में एक बड़ी बैठक होने जा रही है और सभी नेताओं ने अपनी सहमति दे दी है और जो महागठबंधन की सरकार बनी आदरणीय मुख्यमंत्री श्री नीतीश कुमार जी राष्ट्रीय जनता दल के राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष आदरणीय श्री लालू प्रसाद यादव जी और सभी लोगों की ये कोशिश थी कि ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा विपक्ष जो लाइट माइंडेड पार्टीज जो हैं उन सब को जो है गोलबंद किया जाए एक साथ बैठा जाए रणनीति तय की जाए तो हमको लगता है कि सभी लोगों का प्रयास इसमें लगा तेईस जून को पटना में सभी प्रमुख राजनीतिक दलों की बैठक नीतीश कुमार जी ने बुलाई दो हजार चौबीस की तैयारी हम कैसे कर सकते एकजुट कैसे हो सकते उस बैठक में राहुल गांधी जी के साथ हम सब लोग रहेंगे उद्धव ठाकरे साहब भी जा रहे हैं शरद पवार साहब जा रहे हैं मेरे साथ सभी देश के प्रमुख नेता वहाँ बैठक में जाएंगे और दो हजार चौबीस के जन्म की हम तय करेंगे Let me bring in my colleague on the broadcast. Uh, Pallavi Ghosh is joining us. Pallavi, uh, this entire uh, speak uh, uh, talk about opposition unity has been something that's been doing the rounds, but never have all the opposition parties really come together. Now this is Nitish Kumar's big opposition meet that was earlier slated for 12th of uh, this month. Now it's been shifted to 23rd. He has mentioned that. it cannot be political parties represented uh, by by some leader it has to be the head of the political parties how successful an attempt this is uh, really likely to be uh, considering bjp has gone all guns blazing against it so there are some mistakes which i think this time round the opposition parties want to learn from one is what really divides them is the fact if everyone clamors to become the prime minister the prime ministerial face hmm. so one decision which has kind of been taken which possibly be going to hear on 23rd also that there is going to be no pm face which is going to be announced just to give a quick example and that's the narrative that every cm can become pm and that's a strategy which is going to be used to lure the voters in the favor of any one political leader whose strong hold happens we one particular state for example if mamta banerjee conveys it to her people in bengal that if you vote and march for a trinamool congress who knows maybe i become the prime minister of the country so these are just luring tactics which is why they are going to decide that let's not announce any pm face keep that ambivalent and once the electoral results come out that's a call which is going to be taken later that's one but the second biggest hurdle is division of the anti bjp votes mm. this time round that's also a proposal that they have made to counter this which is what at least on 450 seats only one joint candidate would be put up depending on the strong area or the stronghold area of the political parties okay. again for example in tamil nadu is going to be expected at most of the seats uh, uh, on most of the seats the dmk will set up their candidate and the congress would not and so on and so forth so the entire idea is that anti bjp vote must not get divided mm. and people who can win the election should be given the ticket also pallavi uh, what about uh, like i mentioned earlier uh, parties like the brs are staying away from this opposition meet so how is this opposition unity is the question that even bjp is asking Yes, absolutely. So I don't think there's going to be any unanimous or consensus opposition unity. Parties like BJD, Navin Patnaik, the mm. BRS, uh, you know, for example, Jagan Mohan Reddy's party, they have been the ones who usually stayed away at any attempts of opposition unity, whether inside or outside the parliament. Mm. That's one. What's also an interesting development is a suggestion or hint coming in from the JDS. They're willing to tie up with the BJP for 2024, hoping to reap some seats as far as Karnataka goes. Mm. As long as these kind of Relatives are there, and mind you, these are the political parties who do have a stronghold in their states, where a large chunk of Lok Sabha seats comes in from. That could act as a shadow over this attempt at opposition unity. It's early days yet. There are those individual spaces which political parties in the opposition spectrum are going to be fighting for. I think when we move closer and closer to the polling date, I think the fissures within the opposition unity may come out, despite this attempt being made to come out with a kind of a united front against the BJP for 2024.